now arriving at London Heathrow Airport. Look at all these British Airways planes. <laughs> So we are here at London Heathrow. We have a layover. And then on to Boston. My main goal with this video is to show you guys what it looks like when you have an international arrival and an international departure with a layover at Heathrow. Flight connections. Baggage reclaim. Do I have to do that? We are arriving from Italy, Naples. On that British Airways flight. Believe it or not, even though the UK is a small island, they do have domestic arrivals and departures. Like Manchester or Liverpool. Put you out over here, huh? From what I understood is they were having a hard time finding a gate to get us into. And that was the main issue. Huge airport, man. Absolutely huge. I think it's one of the busiest airports in the world, actually. Being one of the busiest, I guess that would make it one of the best. Although, this walk is a bit bizarre. Thin air. We've now been walking for almost five minutes. I 
looks like we have some sort of semblance of connection flight. Is that me? So yes, I'm doing a flight connection. How does this work? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing a arrival. Boston. Let's see if I can figure it out. Alright, Terminal 5. So it looks like we have to catch a bus to where we are going. They do have elevators and they have stairs. So what we'll do is we will take Let's just take this. All right, so Terminal 5 is a bus. I'm amazed. process here. It's pretty efficient, I think. I don't know. It's like comparing it against America's Atlanta. Oh, two and five. Four. I need five. I need to focus. Okay. Here's five. Okay, so after five minutes of waiting in line, not too bad, just five minutes. We are here, it's a bit brisk in London outside right now. I think it's like 55 degrees. Oh, priority seats.
airport, man. See, in Atlanta, which is the busiest in the United States, Hartsfield, they have a uh, train, a people, move, a people mover that you take. These guys, they use buses. Some people will actually want to see the part where you have to take the bus from Terminal 2 to Terminal 5. And you won't really know what terminal your, your connecting flight will be from because it changes by the gate, you know? We do have elevators right there for the disabled people, which is good to know because I was worried. Where's the elevators for the disabled? But they have long escalators. Sorry for that momentary uh, disruption there. That was just momentarily. Terminal 5, let's see, I gotta find out exactly where I'm going. Terminal 5. It just says Terminal 5. So I still don't know what gate. This says Terminal 5 flight connections. International in Europe, uh, UK and Ireland. I'm going international. Okay, international flight connection. You got to go through this. What is this? I don't think I can film this though. This is a passport scanner.
it's a long lift ride up. including staff. Okay, so it looks like you got to go downstairs. So you have two ways to get there. You take that or the elevator. We'll be doing the elevator. So, we are taking a lift here. You had to go through another uh, area where they check your bags, so I had to turn off the camera for that. That was actually up above, and then we just took the elevator down. They do have lifts available for people in wheelchairs. But, I'm not always seeing them available, and we all know if someone's in a wheelchair, they can't go on an escalator, obviously. I don't know if I'm a fan of the, this airport. I'm a fan of it, but I think that they chose a little bit of grandeur over functionality. And I, I like pretty things and grandeur, but it's got to be functional for all people who are going to transit, you know? And because it's so big, if someone's in a wheelchair or disabled, elderly or whatever, I don't see how this airport's very accommodating to that. Unless I've missed the whole secret. Maybe there's a secret side to this airport. <laughs> Could be the case. Pay to use lounge. Multi faith room. See if I can find out where my flight will be departing from. Okay, so 15 minutes before I'm able to board, they finally gave us the gate number. Is confirm. Yeah, so it's B39. Like I said, we're in Terminal 5. We arrived out of Terminal 2. I'm assuming the other terminals look similar to this. I've been here once before. Seem to be very similar. It's a nice airport. I mean, it's nice and modern. I just am concerned about the size for someone who lacks mobility. Obviously, I have full mobility, so it's not me that I'm concerned about here. But if it was like my grandpa or my grandma and they were arriving here on a layover and they had to go from two to five, how do they get there? Maybe they have someone who pushes them in a wheelchair. So there's two ways to get there. You either take that long escalator or the elevator. And we'll just take the elevator. Okay, so we had to come all the way down to negative two. B35. 
Oh, this this is this is a very unique airport. Very unique. So A gate is here. B gate, you have to take another train. Oh man. It's it all can be done. It's just such a big airport. Okay, we're waiting. Been here waiting now for five minutes. People will disembark and then we will get on. So here in five, they have A, B, and C. B32 to B48. Remain on transit for gates C52 to C66. This is gates B32 to B48. Please take all belongings with you. Next stop, gates C52 to C66. Well, that took about two minutes. Not too bad. at B. So we are all the way tucked away in the corner here. Oh, they've got hand sanitizer? No. Okay. So they say we, we begin loading at 19.05. This is our loading point. Okay, I've talked to some people who are from the U.S. They said also it is very difficult airport. This is a crazy airport, guys, for sure. So try to be early and make sure you move very efficiently. You'll get there, but it is a crazy airport. There's no doubt about it. I think that's our plane right there. Boeing 777. Uh, Boston. All right, now we are headed to the plane. So this is the flight to Boston, and that's going to conclude the episode. Next up, next show is going to be flying business class on British Airways. Bye bye Heathrow. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, we are going to be flying first class or business class to London or Boston from London Heathrow. You can watch that video on the next one coming up. <laughs>